24-7 menu. It is. So, like, you can set up a hammock. I didn't bring my hammock to the venue. <laughs> I did bring my hammock. You can set that up somewhere and just take a nap. Dude. I'm sure they have a sleeping area. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, set it up over near the arcade cabinets. Oh, okay, but now we're, we are uh, underway now. We're finally getting some uh, character Wait. collection. What is this? Yo, the Libre pick from... It, I'm I would say Bebop, actually. Because Bebop actually does train, play a lot with Slip. Yeah, it's definitely Bebop. So here we go. Yo, I don't know if you guys probably didn't see that, but Slip was giving a lot of advice to Bebop before the match started. He is really rooting hard for his boy. So we can see, you know, this thing is not surprising. And here we go, starting off uh, in field. Right now, there's no real advantage going on, but Ray is trying to just force some advantage with a lot, there we go, a baby. lot of blaze kicks. Yeah, getting that nice counter hit. Oh, and that speedy, speedy high jump kick, taking him for a ride, but he's gonna miss that jump kick for that combo. Gets grab, his grab gets punished by that wild charge, and Bebop is now trying to reclaim the advantage. He gets that tick, Electro Web, that is just nasty, giving him a speed debuff and a ton of damage. Oh my god, you cannot jump. I always know that you, if you hold, the, if you let go of block, you can actually avoid that tick grab throw setup. I'm not too confident about that. But, well, well, with that tick throw setup, you just have to be very confident on that's what he's doing. Uh oh, look at that. You see B Prop closing the distance. Justin knowing, harassing Ray, getting in there and taking the first uh, round. Libre is just non-stop pressure. He has a lot of chip, he has a lot of damage. He hurts a lot, and also a lot of his moves look very similar. Get that low profile, he gets that anti-air as well. Going into the corner, gets the phase shift without getting that electro web though. You saw that chest match there, uh, Ray getting uh, beat out with his 2 wide getting beat out. He opts for an 8S, and then you see Beat Pop opting for an anti-air and taking the combo. I love that to reverse snipey so much. Oh, it's not really that practical, but I think it's really funny. Okay, now he's in a very simple position here, Bebop. Bebop, ha Bebop also burst in reaction to this. Now it's just them mashing on each other's shields, just trying to get an opening, and Bebop he he loses button. it. He puts the button, and he's going for a ride. Hit him up with the one top kick. How many kicks in this combo? 255. Oh wait, no, 257. I cannot do simple math. But Ray takes the round, try evening up the games. Yep, Ray getting in with that meaty setup after Blaze um after Blaziken's uh, burst attack, he gets a meaty setup um, with his homing or his forward Y projectile attack. So you just have to be on the watch if you uh, get hit by that. That's just basic Oki. Ooh, okay. That gets that fire punch, gets that forward Y. It's so hard when Libre hits your shield with 8 wide, there's not many options. It's just a guess. So, sadly, that's just the case sometimes. But oh. look, but all of that 8 wide combo, look at all of this anti air. Nice. And then just a YOLO with a flare blitz oh, you kick. Can, you can react to that. If you get the first hit of flare blitz, in you can air. react, but it's quite hard. <laughs> if you're already doing a thing, then you can't really react. But now Libre has that defense buff, and that defense buff effectively gives him so much more health than he already has. He is in that bum right now. He's getting the mix up, putting him in the blender. Let's go back into duel. Oh, the Whoa, he avoided it? Oh, wait, is he going to get hit by this? Yes, he is. Bob does. That's two, two burst attacks so far, two for two on Ray's uh, callout. Defense That's game buff. one for Ray. Yeah, defense buff was not gonna help. Not gonna help you leave Ray. Well, when you're at 50 HP, there's not a lot you really can do when you're hit by a burst attack. And you see Slip right now, hopping in there, trying to give his boy some word of advice, telling him what to do, what not to do. Ray just, just giving him words of encouragement. <laughs> Ray's in his, in his own space right now, though. He, he's gonna keep doing what he was doing. His brother plays Libre, so he knows this matchup really well. His brother, uh, Maverick, has, um, oh, okay. so he, he, his Maverick plays a Sejuai, uh, the Sejuai and a Libre, so he's very familiar. So let's see what kind of adaptations we're going to get here from both these players. And here we go. Oh my, non-stop pressure from Bebop, just getting him with the flying press after flying press, going in a flipping, flipping combo and getting another attack buff. 
He tries to grab. He gets kicked in the face for it, though. Yeah, you just got to watch out because uh, Ray will call out some of that, that nonsense if you're trying to get a little bit too cheeky. Oh, my God. He when knew. He went for he it again. He knew. That's a very ballsy move just from Bebop. Okay, got to watch out here. It's not your turn. Okay. So he's going to call out the Rodham. Oh, my God. The call out. He did not care. Boop. Bebop said, I see your Rodham, but I'm going to do this anyway. And Ray's going to take full on advantage. I didn't realize that would actually activate Rodham, though. That was so interesting to see. But he oh. ended off with a homing attack. This is quickly turning towards Ray's favor. And, and if Bebop can't turn this around, then he might be seeing loses immediately. Oh my god, Ray is download complete. Oh, wait. Gonna, okay, Download complete. But no, <laughs> he got a little bit too confident there. Going to get crushed. Very cheeky from Bebop, just going for the, lo the neutral light. Oh, crossed him up. Yo, I think that was a cross up. Cross up, get that attack debuff. Canceling out that one from Libre. And now he has burst again, and he just rockets in. Oh, the mix-ups are too strong right now on Ray's end. Oh, he could have had a little whiff punish there, but he's just going to get a grab here. Gets that nice solid okay, punish off what's of the setup? Six. That set of his grab, <laughs> he's following in your footsteps, my man. Oh, uh, did that work? Oh, here we go, though. We got Rodham out. But, okay. Ray is taking no chances. He's just going to burst. You cannot do that. Rodham will hit you out of the sky, and Ray knows that. That's why he's rocking that on this matchup. He's rocking that Rodham right now, and he's getting a lot of mileage. I, a lo I would have not gone for the burst attack there. I mean, it's a little bit scaled. It scaled pretty hard. A little bit scaled. It did 12 damage. <laughs> 12, it, it only hit double digits. Oh, man. Uh oh. Oh, no, he's going to hit the wall. This is done. There's no. Oh, but he missed. Shift, count. You got to count your face shift points. Oh, my God. The Tatsumaki. This last hit will decide it all. <laughs> Bebop showing him he still has the will to survive. <laughs> he's going in and trying to get that last game, even up the rounds. Yeah, taking the round right. He's going to get hit by forward Y, though. Got to be careful here. By the fire punch. Fists of flame and oh fury. My, oh my. I don't think he knew that that was going to hit because there was no confirmed there by Ray. Jumping. Okay, what's the confirm here? Get, he's going to jump that 2 wide from Libre. Being a low profile, uh, being a low move, he can just jump and hit it with uh, dive kick. But Libre does have that projectile priority. He tries to wake up Button, but gets hit by the Oki Overheat. You know, oh my god, Ray a little sloppy, but he's still getting damage, and I'm liking this because he's deciding how to pick up these drop combos really well. Oh, oh and he catches the back dash. That is it oh for my Bebop. God, the pressure was intense. Ray did not care. He the was going to push a, buttons. He's got that 2 0 and a handshake. Good job to Ray L. Empire, though. He was, honestly, something very interesting I find about Blaziken players is how they mix up their options. Because I think you have like one of the better Oki tools in the game in Overheat, but you always can mix that up. It's like you have a giant bubble. It's like, it's similar to Blastoise actually. You have a giant bubble that you just put out. <laughs> and it's necessity too, because those Okies cost HP, baby. You can't be spending all of that HP on an Overheat Oki if you feel like maybe I can get away doing something else. You know what I'm saying? Some misdirection. Some, maybe you're gonna, you know, do some frame data checks. It just seemed like Beepop got stuck a few times with uh, the the burst attack, um, blaze kick follow up. So he would land blaze kick, and he would not know the frame data, and he tried to jump out of that, and he got hit by burst attack a lot. Yeah, but actually, another t another tri save versus Sexus match is coming up right now with Aurora G versus Burnside. Oh, I am feeling this. Do you want to explain our boy Burnside? 